Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser says whether it's neglect or apathy, it's time for the French Quarter to get the attention it deserves. And not just because of the Super Bowl, but for the longevity of Louisiana's jewel. Ashlyn Brothers sat in on tonight's French Quarter Citizens Meeting and joins us now with more. Lauren and Lee, the lieutenant governor presented a cooperative endeavor agreement plan to manage the city to a crowd of concerned French Quarter citizens at the New Orleans Jazz Museum. It's a plan Mayor Latoya Cantrell already struck down, but the lieutenant governor still hopes to implement some of his suggestions and asked residents to weigh in. This ought to be shining if any place of the city ought to shine. The people have spoken. We would like a more sophisticated tourist. I don't want Bourbon Street advertised at all. This meeting held a magnifying glass to some of the conditions in the French Quarter and the potential downfall of the city's historic site. We're the goose that laid the golden egg. We always have been. So we may not have the voters, but we have the big money. It's unacceptable. And if this is the jewel of the city, God help us. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser spoke to infrastructure issues, dismantled streetlights, dilapidated streets and sidewalks. It is critical that we fix these streets in a quarter, quit patching them. Along with security and safety, homelessness, parking problems, trash and cleanliness, amplification of music and the regulation of these quality of life concerns. There's no supervision. There's no follow through. It gets a little better and it gets a lot worse. Nungesser says he feels crime in the quarter is a problem with businesses suffering. He says property values are impacted and tourism will tank. I get letters, emails, calls, texts. I'm never coming back. A lot of ideas were tossed around, such as making the French Quarter a historical state park district with power put in the hands of a committee made of businesses and citizens. We don't need a holistic approach. We need something done, and I think that's the important thing. Whatever the entity is that can get it done would be great. I'm a commissioner with the French Quarter Management District, and maybe we can funnel things through them, which is a state agency. Nungesser met with state police last week and welcomes Troop NOLA's multi-agency sweep, adding he's giving them an office in the Cabildo with cameras and drones so that they have more of a presence and can react quickly. He says the city needs to crack down on establishments attracting the wrong crowd. Nungesser says in most cases, 80% of crimes are committed by the same 20%. It's up to the prosecutors to get repeat offenders off the streets. The 8th District commandant left here to go to Alaska, had enough, told me they arrested one guy 61 times until he beat a lady with an inch of a life. He didn't spend a night in jail. He says they're going to start prosecuting some cases on the state level. It's not working putting them in jail here in New Orleans, obviously. Now, many people raise concerns over the permitless concealed carry law, to which Nungesser replied, many people didn't necessarily like the law, but didn't want to go against the governor. But he says the law will likely be revisited and urged citizens to not give up. Lauren.